it is unwise after eating a fruit to throw away good seed when it is in your divine and godly purpose to be fruitful and multiply according to the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Shit, I gotta love you from a distance. Same nigga that you did all the tags for the beats. You let that nigga tag, let him beat. You let me give him that when we meet. Even that, I kept discreet. I asked you to your face, did you fuck them niggas? And you swore on your mother. I knew from then I couldn't trust her. More lies from the lips of a lover. Same lips that I got tatted on my shoulder. Even then I kept my composure. I was supposed to. This the girl that I'm trying to propose to. I asked Greg, you know I had picked out a ring. Then you lied in my face. Went on TV and then lied to Gail King. I found out with the rest of the world. Girl, I treated you like a queen. <laughs> Whole time I'm a clown in your circus I tried to pull you up out the mud Here you are trying to drown me on purpose You know the devil was a serpent Put some streams and views Girl, I hope it was worth it This ain't for Megan the Stallion This is for Megan the person Assistant Shit, I gotta love you from a distance Okay, so I got a friend for you then It's Primal, it's Primal, okay? Would you date a stud? Yes Oh, you want okay? What's what's your what's your type? If you were to date one, if I was to date a son or any, I mean any girl. I don't want to tell my type because I don't want to limit myself. You're the last person on earth, and it's only one girl you can choose. Who are you choosing? One girl. Oh, who are you choosing? I gotta choose wisely. Choose wisely. Think. Okay, I'm shooting my shot. Oh. I could be a bad bitch with a fat ass. It could be a little petite bad bitch. Okay. And it could also be a bad bitch that's a stud. Okay, so I got a friend for you then. Every time you turn on a song, eat my ass. My butthole is brown. All this, right? Everywhere you turn, it's crazy. Black men are the only race of men that gets publicly disrespected by their women. They use crack in the 80s to break down black communities. Now they're using music, right? as a way to break down the communities. Also important that black women understand their position in systematic racism and how they're being utilized to destroy their whole family and the whole community and whole generation. So when you're around an alpha, it, alpha word. man, <laughs> right? And that, that, that energy, that frequency, right? It can, it can throw, it can throw some, some shit off because you're conditioned not to even be around that shit. And then you become sensitive, sensitized, not desensitized. You're very sensitive to that energy. And then now you you don't know how to read that energy. You think he's narcissistic. You think, no, he's where he needs to be to take his place. And when that, every time you turn on a song, eat my ass, my butthole is brown, all this, right? Everywhere you turn, it's crazy. Black men are the only race of men that gets publicly disrespected by their women. They use crack in the 80s to break down black communities. Now they're using music, right, as a way to break down the communities. Also important that black women understand their position in systematic racism and how they're being utilized to destroy their whole family and the whole community and whole generation. So when you're around an alpha, it, alpha word. man, <laughs> right, and that 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 energy, that frequency, right, it can it can throw it can throw some some shit off because yeah, yeah. you're conditioned not to even be around that shit and then you become sensi sensitized not desensitized you're very sensitive to that energy and then now you you don't know how to read that energy you think he's narcissistic you think no he's what he needs to be the craziest thing place. you guys have ever done i like cheated on my boyfriend last week and he doesn't know wait really what you know jack who's jack your ex-boyfriend I'm sorry for cheating, cheating's not what I do, but I found out you cheated on me, so I cheated on you. Who's this? Of course we gold diggers. If you ain't spending no cash, you don't get none of this ass. Shake it, baby! <laughs> of course we gold diggers. If you're not wearing no ice, you don't look nice. Of course we gold diggers. I like designer, not she. That's my girl! Of course we go with diggers. All we care about is money. Yeah. All right.
Alrighty, family. Shalom, shalom, shalom. You know, we're going we gonna to get right into this. You know, I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Mashiach, Malak, Yahweh, Shai, Wa, Kwadash, Giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. And I need to say Barak a thumb to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth, starting from the elders on down to the youth. Those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamash Yahweh Shai, who is our Malak and our Edwan, and as ministers of the New Covenant, as ministers of the blood of the Lamb, it is all about the kingdom. So as y'all can see right here, I got Sarek chapter 32 and verse 17, which is a, a, a all-time famous scripture when it comes down to self-examination like when you read Haggai chapter 1 and verse 7 and say thus saith the Lord of hosts the Lord of hosts be considerate of thy ways this is in the book of Haggai chapter 1 and verse 7 y'all so when you see that that's saying hey self-examination and now you jump over here in the Sirach chapter 32 and verse 17 and it says a sinful man will not be reproved but findeth an excuse according to his will so this is not only when it comes down to a man. This is also when it comes down to a woman. You see? This also comes down to a woman too. You got, it's like a woman who is sinful, meaning a woman that 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 uh, that willingly transgressed against the Most High, right? And, and, and shows forth of being a rebellion, right? This is somebody who will not stand to receive correction because... They're in their emotions, nor do they delight in the things that will be of the Lord's will in his way. So what do they do? They find excuses according to their own will. They find excuses to do certain things that lines up to them indulging into temporary pleasures and lusts. You see, but we're going we to jump onto this family because I know y'all seen all the videos that I got uh, in the beginning. Right. And um. You know, these things are very, very important, family. Very, very important. So, y'all see this right here in Sarah chapter 26 and verse 3. It says, a, a good wife is a good portion which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. You see? Those that fear the Lord, right, are in the vibration, meaning the frequency of the Most High. So, he's going to bless them with something that's glorious meaning a wife, right? And it don't have to just be one wife. It can be multiple wives. You see what I'm saying? And this is the truth, all right? And kings understood this type of wisdom, and this is what made them to abide to heavenly principles, you see? But that power, and you know, being misused, which gets to them in their head, had caused uh, downfalls to many of kingdoms. And this is why certain females who were actually wicked were able to infiltrate. Yeah, this is the truth. We're able to infiltrate. So I'm going to give y'all something that y'all can uh, take hold of. Because as y'all can see all the videos on a lot of the females, their mindset. This is why the scriptures say flee from Babylon. That's saying flee from Sodom and Gomorrah. Flee from Egypt, which is the house of bondage. Flee from the city of sin. Flee. Meaning, hey, depart. Depart. Repent. Cut off all those ways that are connected to the places that are dark. This place that it, in these perilous times that are dark, that's full of wickedness. Where people glamorize in evils and count good for evil and evil for good. Right as wrong and wrong is right. Hey, man, you got to understand this. You got to depart from those ways through self-examination. You can't see just yourself. You have to see the will of God, because if you just see yourself, you ain't going to stand to be reproved, nor would you be considerate of the will of God. You would try to find some other way of yourself abiding in God's will and thinking that you can be you know, you're going to be in a clear and you're going to be good with God. In your rebellious acts, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You see. The scriptures say a good wife. 
right? So let's go into this. This is a woman, right? And she was stating, she was speaking. She said, how can I go back to my husband? Question mark. And it states, I divorced my husband out of out of group influence last year in 2023. It's cool that she admits to that. But, you know, it, you know, this, you know, one thing she has to take a uh, hold of is accountability. You see what I'm saying? Because she said, I divorced my husband out of a group influence. So she's saying the only reason why she that she divorced her husband is because of her being influenced by a group. No, you divorce your husband because you wanted to. The influences can be there all day long. You see? But you have choices. So it comes to a point of accountability. You see? Because some, some people can point the finger on why they do certain things. Well, I do this and do that because this happened to me. Or this person influenced me and made me to believe that it was right to be like this and like that. No. You, you had it within yourself. And I'm speaking in most cases. All right. In most cases. It's all in the matters of what you stand to agreeance to. You see. She said, I divorced my husband out of group influence last year in 2023. I started working as a nurse and my friends told me that I could do without a man. So I got motivated. What? I got motivated. So she's being inf she's being motivated by those with a Babylonian mindset or a Sodom and Gomorrah mindset. Or a Egypt mindset. You see? They got a mindset of bondage. And, and no telling. You know what I'm saying? These people that's motivating her. Envy her position. She got a husband. These females ain't got no husbands. So they bear witness to her. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying some things that they're not able to enjoy. You see the picture? Watch this. So I got motivated by my friends. And left. My husband and what and left my husband. As I'm talking to you, two of my friends who advised me to leave my marriage got married recently. Wow. So them same friends motivated her to divorce her husband. Them same friends motivated her to be wicked. And made it like it was OK for her to be the way she is. This this is what this is what society teaches today. The society that is totally against the Bible, the God of Israel, the creator of heaven and earth. You see. So these 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 two of her friends, she said they friends have got married, man. She said, I feel lonely and I can't find another man. So she feels lonely and she can't find another man. You see. She says, so far, I have dated five men. And they just sleep with me and go. These men, despite dating me, they never respected me owing to owe, owing to the fact that I am not that attractive because I'm in my 30s. Wow. In a what? In a 30s. One of my boyfriend, one of my boyfriend got married to a young girl recently, leaving me heartbroken. I'm tired and I need to be in my house with my loving husband. What? <laughs> what you talking about, what? <laughs> my actions were out of immaturity and wrong advice from evil friends. I realized my mistakes. How can I convince him to allow me back? How can I persuade my husband? Advise me, please. I know. Come on, man. Hey, man. To me personally, she's coming from a colonel place on how she can get back to her husband. So I guarantee you all of what she was receiving was from people who are other world, those who are colonel. What she need to do is repent and turn back unto the most high and just leave it at that. She got to give it all up to the most high. Some things may take a time. Yeah, in spite of all the things that she had did and what she's been influenced by because of herself being gullible, right? And, and may have been not listening to her husband when he's trying to let her, he possibly trying to let her know like, yo, your friends that you got, you know, they ain't real friends. And, you know, I don't like them. They a single crowd. And not only that they're a single crowd, but 
you know, what what can they give to you in, in influencing you to do better? You know, and when it comes into our household. See, it's naturally for a man, not a boy, a man. A man. As he is evolving, becoming more of who he's supposed to be, which is a man of God, meaning somebody who is built off of principles. Right. That are built off of principles that lines up to godliness, order, law, commandments, overall order, discipline. You see. A, a woman of God or a, I say a woman. Who is growing to understand her nature becoming more of a woman of God she understands her her place in that husband's life that man's life they know their their way of living according to God's will and what is of his way is beyond what the world may be trying to mimic and try to sabotage you see causing many of our people to be desensitized from, from the truth about the goodness and the glories of the Lord. You see, not realizing the more you abide in the glories of the Lord according to his will and his way and not so much by what man says as far as those who are of this wicked world and living by the wicked world's way of principles. Hey, man. Y'all see the picture and where I'm going at about all of this? So that's her only way. But if she go by the world's way, it ain't going to never happen. Now, I don't know because and I, the only reason why I say this because I don't know what the Lord can do. I don't know what Yahweh Shemiah Shah could do. But what I can say is that if you look in the book of Hosea, Hosea was, uh, was, was led by God to marry a whore. You see? And the Lord told Hosea to go get his wife. You see? Meaning to, to have mercy on her. And if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 7, you know, when it comes down to uh, a wife, you know what I'm saying, that goes off. Like, don't get me wrong. The scriptures do speak about that. Like a woman that goes off and she 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 messes around with another man. Hey, that man, you know what I mean? He can give her a bill of divorce. She are done for. It, right. But if you look at Hamashiach and what he did with the adulterous woman. Right. He said, run along, my child, and sin not no more. You see? But he was showing what? Mercy. Like you want those that want the mercy of God, but they're not willing to uh, 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 reflect the level that level of mercy in others' lives. You know what I'm saying? They have it in themselves like, oh, you know, the mercies of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord and this and that and the third, but they're not willing to share that with others. You see, and this is the truth. All right. Mm. So, I mean, it depends, but nevertheless, the way how a lot of these females are today, you know what I'm saying? That rebellious nature and the scriptures made it known that how rebellion is, 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 is connected to witchcraft, man. It is written on how rebellion is connected to witchcraft. So a woman that's rebellious is under the influences of witchcraft. You can't abide in the presence of the Lord or anything dealing with the matters of the Lord if you have it within yourself to go outside of what the will of God is about. This ain't about you. This is about the Lord, whether you like it or not. When you make it about you, you're not going to receive the comforts of the Lord. But if you put the Lord first in everything, you begin to understand what the comforts of the Lord is about for yourself. So when adversities or certain things arises, the wisdom of the Lord can be there in comforting you. So you'll know how to operate mentally and emotionally in every given situation. You see, in operating in the fear of the Lord as a woman. Because if not, you will end up being used up, tossed away, thrown away. And as you see the females that, that, that I shared as far as in those videos. The females in those videos and how they were and they way of thinking and different things like that. Just just look at all of that. Just look at all of that, man. You see, and it's sad. It's extremely sad. But 